What a WWE SmackDown Live that was last night, guys. So today, this is going to be Matt's WWE SmackDown Live review from last night's show. So here we go. We kick off WWE SmackDown Live with the phenomenal one. AJ Styles. He starts to talk in the ring about Shane McMahon and stuff that he is going to beat him up again like last week in the parking lot and stuff like that. And the next he starts to talk about all different stuff about that he he accepts his challenge at WrestleMania and stuff. And then he said he's going to wait in the parking lot for him again and beat him up again. And then that was it for that part. And so now we have match number one of the night. It is the Uzos versus the American Alpha, Jason Jordan, and Chad Gable. And that match was pretty good. I really enjoyed it, and it was a kick after kick out after kick out, and they all wanted to be... Still the SmackDown Live Tag Team Champion joining the match. Chad Gables, he gets thrown into the crowd, into the WWE Universe. One of the Uzos put Chad Gable into the crowd. And then, right after that, that one of them grabs Jason Jordan's leg on the rope. And the next, Jay Uzo, he super kicks Jason Jordan. And then there we go for the one... Two, three, and here's your winner and the new SmackDown Live Tag Team Champions, the Uzos. I was like about it last night too, guys, when the Uzos won the belt. They're the three-time Tag Team Champions now. And so now we have match number two of the night. It is Randy Orton versus... The Lone Wolf, barring Corbin. That match was pretty good. I really enjoyed it, guys. And plus, the funny part was, was this part. All the fans were cheering. I didn't know who they were cheering for about. So then, then I know who it was. It was the Lone Wolf franchise, the Intercontinental Champion, Dean Ambrose on a forklift. He was saying this on the microphone to. Baron Corbin, and he said this, Hey, Corbin, are you busy? And then guess what? Randy Orton does a RKO for the one, two, three, and here's the winner, the Viper, Randy Orton. That's right. And now we have a backstage thing. Mind game is going on again. Randy Orton was talking to Renee Young for a little bit, and then right after that, Randy Orton starts to say, Bray Wyatt, where are you? And stuff like that, and the other stuff. And then, of course, the lights were flickering and stuff, and then, of course, guess what? There was all a bunch of sheet masks, and then next, they beat up Randy Orton, and then they hold on to him, and then, of course, Bray Wyatt grabs, like, a stick or something, and then he sings... He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole wide world in his hands. Yeah, that part was pretty strange to me again. The mind games continued to reign the to now. And next, we have match number three of the night, and it is... John Cena versus Fondango. And before the match started, Fondango was like this on the microphone. Shh, like that. And he said this to all the fans that, to John Cena, that he gets a ticket. He was throwing tickets at him by saying this. You are professional wearing shorts in 2017. You get a ticket. And then next... They also, he also says, you get a ticket, you get a ticket to him. 
He was throwing a bunch of tickets at him. And then, of course, then Nikki and John Cena introduced Nikki Bella. And then she comes out with um, ringside with him. And then, of course, during the match, John Cena starts the match. And then next, John Cena does a You Can't See Me to Bondango on, on his face with the ticket. And then that was pretty funny. And then next, John Cena grabs him and does the attitude adjustment. And then, of course, Nikki Bella goes in the ring. And then Fondango was on ringside as Breeze Fondango and stuff. As Breeze, Dongo, whatever. And that was pretty funny. And then Tyler Breeze went into the ring. And then... Nikki Bella did a whack attack on him, and then next John Cena and her both did the the STF on Fondango and Tyler Breeze, and that was pretty good. And then they made them both tap out, and that was pretty funny. So that was it for the match. I really enjoyed that match, guys. It was funny. I really enjoyed it. And now we have the main event. It was Carmella. Versus, whoa, Becky Lynch, and it is a no contest. The reason why, because, well, during the match, James Earl was trying to get interfered, and then Natalia goes in the ring, that's why, because Natalia goes in the ring, and she starts to beat up Carmella, of course, and then, of course, out comes Mickey James, of course, and the next... She starts to beat up Natalia from last week and stuff they were saying. And then, of course, of course, James Elwood gets involved and stuff. And then out comes Alexa Bliss and she attacks Mickey James. And then that's what's happening and stuff. All, all the women in that match for WrestleMania are going at it and at it. We're having a brawl and stuff. And then James Elwood got involved and got a move from Becky Lynch. That was pretty amazing. I really enjoyed that part. They were having a brawl. And I like to bless with Stan Tall holding the SmackDown Live Women's Championship belt. And now we have the last part of the night. It is Here Comes the Money, Shane McMahon. And of course, he comes out and says, AJ Styles, I am waiting for you to come out here and. Also, the other stuff. And then, of course, when that young tells AJ Styles that Shane McMahon is waiting for him in the arena. And, of course, AJ Styles goes out there. And then next he says to Shane McMahon that, how about we just shake hands and uh, settle this all for all and stuff like that. And then, of course, Shane McMahon don't want to shake AJ Styles. And you know what he just does? He just beats him right up. And then that's they have a brawl and stuff. AJ Styles in him, and then of course, the Shane McMahon does a suplex to AJ Styles. And then guess what? Shane McMahon destroys the whole announcer table. He grabs the monitor and hits AJ Styles with it. And then right after that, guess what he does? Is he goes on top of the turnbuckle, and then guess what? He goes inside the ring on top of the turnbuckle, and then he does this. He lands on. Top of AJ Styles and through the announcer's table. And that's what happened in the next. He was pointing to the WrestleMania 33 sign. And then that was it for WWE SmackDown Live. And what a WWE SmackDown Live that was last night, guys. I really enjoyed the show. So, guys, once again, please like this video. Leave a comment. And subscribe. Peace out, guys. See ya.